In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Facebook bot within What's Help in order to actually utilize the messenger um, system inside of Facebook ads. So let me actually break this down for you. So inside of What's Help, you basically want to go to bots over down on the left hand column and you're going to want to do create a bot. So this may look a little complex at first, but it's actually quite simple once you spend a few minutes just sort of testing it out. So in this case, uh, I'm going to utilize one of my skull pages. I have a page all about skulls. So we're going to call this skull bot two and we want to give it a referral name. Um, it's something that has to be all in word. So we'll just use something like skull bot and then I'll just do the number two. And from here you want to select the uh, page. So I've added my skull clothing page as I showed previously. Now that's selected. You can choose to start a conversation with an agent, which means that um, if someone actually sends a message to the page, it will immediately start a conversation with them. And that will also show up within your conversations up here. And then what we can also do is export the user data. So if you want to get notified um, when uh, different data is actually being inputted, you could have an email sent to you. So I'm going to put it in my email address and I'll show you how that works. You can also do some enhanced stuff uh, with a webhook URL. For example, if you wanted to connect something through Zapier and maybe get some additional notification through the Zapier system to another platform, a third party system, that would be what this is going to be used for. So for now, we'll keep it simple and I'll just use my email. We're going to select bot type Facebook ads bot and I will show you the other bots here in separate videos. But for now, we're going to focus on a Facebook ad based bot. Then what we want to do is actually enter in a specific message that starts the conversation as soon as someone actually messages me. So let's just do something really simple. We'll say, do you like skull clothing? We'll give them a question mark. And then we want to do a call to action. So either yes or no, we'll just say yes. Obviously we're hoping that they respond yes. And then you can add an image. I'll just upload this uh, woman wearing a skull dress and I'm going to hit next. And then from here, this is the sequence of messages that are actually going to go out uh, after someone has sent you a message. So by default, you'll see a text message and a user input. Um, you can kind of pick and choose what you want. You could do a text based uh, message, a picture, a file. You could do user input as well as even sending a video. So with a text message, real simple, you're basically just same as the call to action. You basically have a basic text message. So you could say, you know, thanks. We love skulls as well. And then maybe you could add in a, some sort of call to action here, like a, a title or a button. And then you have a few different options for these buttons. Like you could um, put in a phone number, interact with a message, or just have this go straight to, um, you know, you're unassigned here with chatting with an agent. So you've got a few different options here in terms of what you might want to do and um, what will actually happen as soon as people click on these, like if they wanted to click on a URL, maybe you could send them to, for example, your website. So in my case, this would be skullclothing.net. And um, again, we have to do a title. I could say visit skull clothing. Save. Uh, oh, okay. It just wanted the HTTPS. So you do have to do HTTPS. Make sure to do that in order to use the URL. So that's kind of an idea there. Um, you could also do user inputs. So let's do something simple with the user input and I'll show you how powerful this could be if you decided to do a sequence of messages. So let's just say in this example, they said, yes, they love skulls. Um, we could then just immediately ask them, uh, do you want to join our VIP email list? Question mark. And you ha also have a couple options here. You could um, put in some tags so you could maybe identify them by their first name. You know, we could do something like this right at the beginning. And if I put the comma in the right place, so we could do first name. Do you want to join our VIP email list? And then we could choose a field. We could do email, name, phone, or you could even create your own customized fields if you're looking for other information. So let's say in this case, we wanted to collect their email address. Um, we now have some additional settings for the email. So if we hit settings here, you can actually choose to make sure that this is validated and again, select email so we can verify, um, you know, if they don't enter an email address, maybe they just enter like, Hey, you know, then basically we'll send them back an automated message and just saying something like, Hey, it looks like what you entered didn't look like an email. So we're going to validate that they're actually giving us an email address. So we'll hit save. And, um, now 
um, we want to hit next. Uh, I could do other sequences in here. You get the idea. You know, we could do other things, have this kind of trail down a whole path of different messages. So it's really kind of up to you and what you decide to do. So if we hit next, you're now going to have a direct link to the bot. If you click this, it will activate it instantly. You also have your referral ID that we entered as well as the JSON code that we're going to use inside the Facebook ad. So let me show you how this works. I'll set up an ad from scratch and I'll show you uh, more or less how we go about this. So I'm already logged into my ads manager. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the processes of actually setting up a Facebook ad account. There's plenty of free resources about doing that. So for now, I'm logged into the ad account. What, what you're going to want to do is click on create ad. And for the consideration, um, basically what you're going to want to do is click on traffic. And from here, you want to give it a campaign. So we'll just call this skull test and I'll just call it skull test two. We're going to do continue. And now you want to give it an ad set name. I'll just leave the default. Um, you want to select website or messenger as the traffic target. And as we go down, obviously you want to set up your audiences. All this is um, through Facebook. You could do detailed targeting. So let's just say in our case, we want to target people who like skulls. Um, we could go after, let's just do obsessed with skulls. That sounds like a pretty generic one, 322,000 people. Now, um, what we want to do is go down and most of this you want to leave as default, um, depending on what you want to change. It really all is up to you. Let's just say I'm going to start with a $5 a day budget. And then we're going to click on continue. And now we're going to select the page that we're going to be advertising. And in this case, it's skull clothing. And you'll see that um, again, you have your ad name. So we could call this skull test two. And uh, you want to choose the type of format. Again, that's entirely up to you. And then what you're going to want to do is down here under destination, this is where this mostly comes into play, is you're going to want to click on Messenger. And with the Messenger um, Facebook ads, you can only use them in the desktop news feed, mobile news feed, or Instagram feed ad placements. So you have to make sure that if you're going to utilize this, you have to remove all other placements. And by default, they'll give you the option to do that. So we're just going to click on remove placements. And now what we want to do is set up messenger content. So from here, this is the normal quick creation, but we're actually not going to utilize this because that's what we're doing within what's help. So we're going to click on JSON creation and you're going to click within this box. And now at this point, what we're actually going to do is head back to what's help and we're going to copy this entire section here. We're going to just copy this. And we're actually going to go back to the ads manager and you just want to double click inside of this. Make sure you capture everything. So you can see now I've captured everything. Make sure you're all the way to the left and I'm going to delete everything. So it's completely blank. I'm going to do a control. Uh, you could do control C to copy and then a control V to paste, or you could always right click, copy, right click, paste, however you want to do it. And then now that I've done this, um, I can click on preview and messenger app. And it's going to send me a message on Facebook and you can see this is what happens when the interaction starts. Do you like skull clothing? And here's our call to action. We're going to click on yes. And I have desktop notifications enabled for the bot. So here it actually activated. The one thing that I actually didn't do, and you need to make sure that you do this before you actually continue testing is to finish saving the bot. So I actually did not set it live. So that's how you're going to test the bot. Now we're going to click on set live and you'll see here now I have my skull bot too. So if I come back to my ad, let's see, come back to my ad. I can click on preview in messenger app again and I'll get a new message. Do you like skull clothing? Yes. And here's our automated sequence now starting up. Do you want to join our VIP email list? And obviously, I probably could have structured the sentence of that a little bit better, but we know that we're looking for an email. So we'll just say John S at skullclothing.net. And we hit enter. And you can also see because I have desktop notifications enabled, I'm getting those on my desktop computer. So um, this is something really cool. I'm going to get those messages there as well. And even better. Um, so before we check that, you can see I've now got the messages inside of um, inside of here you can see the exact messages I could send back messages from right inside of what's help and now I'm actually getting them back over here so the skull clothing page is responding and even better 
I actually got an email. So let me just close some of this, but here's an email that I got. So you can see you have a new lead. Let me download all my photos here. I have a new lead, John Shea, John S at skullclothing.net. Um, Facebook link, the conversations, when we were first contacted, last contact created, and what bot it came from. So I now have a lead. And even better, I can now come back to what's help. And I now have, if I go into people, I now have myself added through the Facebook page. You can see as, an, as of an hour ago, I actually have myself in here twice, but this was from a different Facebook page. So I could now go in and send broadcast messages, um, you know, do different things. So if I wanted to set up a broadcast, I could go do that and send it out to anyone who's messaged this page. So these are just some advantages, obviously having the ability to go in and set up all these different automated messages through Facebook ad campaigns could be extremely powerful for sending people to your offers, running discount codes, uh, doing anything really to automate this entire process and run some really effective ad campaigns. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out. Uh, again, what I do suggest is going through the video again and pausing as I go through it to make sure that there's nothing uh, that was missed. Um, the last thing that we'd want to do as well for this ad is we're just going to want to hit done. And pretty much from this point, everything is all set unless you're going to be changing some of the layouts of how things would look. Obviously here, um, I'd want to make sure that my headline is good. You know, we'll just do skulls and then you want to make sure you select an image you know, you have your ad fully set up to actually run on Messenger. So this is really all that you need to do in order to get this going and you'll get a preview of what this is gonna look like. Uh, so you can start these automated conversations with people. So again, extremely powerful. Any questions, just reach out and let us know. Thanks.